Hi, I'm Danny, and my tips are all about your workstation. You want to make sure that you're not putting your body into any damage while we're going through this time. So make sure you're not working from bed, you're not working from your couch with your feet up on your coffee table, that you actually set up a workstation. So what you need is a comfortable chair, and you need to make sure that you're sitting back in your chair. Arms need to be resting on the table. You don't want them hanging down, your elbows hanging down, because it's going to start pulling on your shoulders and giving you some backache. So push your keyboard forward, rest your arms. Your monitor should be at the top of your monitor, should be at eye level. If like this one, it's too high, simply just work in this segment of the screen. So you're not looking up or looking down because that's also going to be pulling on your neck. If you can create an environment with a standing desk, that's fantastic because actually standing for a lot of the day is really good for you. But it's better for your body to be able to sit and stand. So you might not have a desk that can, can move up and down, but if you can actually find a stool with a high desk, then you can actually move from a seated to a standing position throughout the day. We hope you stay safe. Hi, my name's Amanda, and here are my top tips for working from home. Stress is a big kid of the immune system, so wherever possible, try to minimise it. Routine's a great way for reducing stress for the unknown. A good way to begin your day is instead of starting working on PJs, take a shower and get dressed. This will help you get into your work mindset and help you stay focused. Use these muscle medicine team tips to continue creating a new working from home routine. We are social creatures and we need to talk. You may be working from home when previously you've been part of a team. There's nothing stopping you from joining your colleagues via Skype, Zoom or FaceTime. Daily stand-up meetings are a great way to keep things moving. Lunchtime catch up with your usual lunchtime buddy and who said after work catch ups have to stop? So my tips for surviving this unprecedented time are firstly, meditate. If you don't already meditate, now is the time to start. We're going to need a clear head and lots of patience to get us through this turbulent time. So there are a load of apps out there already and I do know that Headspace and Calm are offering free resources, so take advantage of them. My next tip is breathing. Breathing is similar to meditation. It's gonna help us deal with the stresses that we're under. So putting us into our parasympathetic nervous system by taking deep belly breaths, so the stomach going out on the breath in. So you can do this whilst meditating or you can do this as a separate exercise altogether, but just taking time out to breathe with the belly, making sure you're not taking breath from the chest and neck. It's a great way to help you cope with stress and the day. And my final tip is move. Move as much as you can. I have long hallways, so I've been doing lunges every time I walk up and down the hallway. You're going to be sat at an uncomfortable desk for hours at a time and it's not going to be like in the office where you're often getting up to talk to people so you need to make excuses to get up walk around use any opportunity you can to move when i brush my teeth i just stand on one leg and have fun and try and challenge my balance so any ideas like that make sure you move hi i'm anessa my therapist at muscle medicine so my first tip for you is to get into a morning movement routine. This is going to be a really good start to your day, especially because you're going to spend most of the day cooped up inside, not moving around very much. So try some sun salutations, an online yoga class. We also have plenty of exercises in our online library at Muscle Medicine that you can try. Plus, of course, continue with any of the exercises that your therapist might have given you, and that's going to keep your body feeling really good. My second tip is to start a home strength workout. So obviously right now none of us are getting to the gym, but that's fine. There's plenty that you can do from your own home. Um, any of the, your standard household items that have some weight to them, you can use as makeshift gym equipment. Fill a backpack full of books and do some squats with them. It's as simple as that. Uh, as I was saying, we have plenty of exercises in our online library as well, and we're going to keep adding to those to give you plenty of ideas. We also have resistance bands, spiky balls, and other self-management tools that we can provide to you from our studio. Hi guys, Kobe from Muscle Medicine here. Quite often I get people complain about neck pain, and often it is due to these tight pec muscles here when you've been reaching for your keyboard all day long. Quite simply, I've got a lovely little tip for you. 
Get yourself one of these firm rubber balls and that's a really good massage tool in here to, to keep it nice and gentle. What you want to do is actually place it into this soft tissue in here and feel like you're moving all those tissues around in there as opposed to just rolling it over. Another good tip is to pin the tissues down, cause a little bit of a stretch and just gently move it in there from side to side as well. Very simple. Another good tip is get lots of vitamin D sunshine. We're going into winter, the better you look after your health and well-being right now, the more prepared you are for winter. We'll see you on the other end. And don't forget to support the small local businesses that you have around you. You can do this if they're on limited hours or even if they're closed. Order takeout from your favourite local restaurant. Buy from local stores, even online, and even if it costs a little bit more. Make an appointment for services for when they reopen, write a review, or simply drop them an email and let them know you want them back. You can leave us a review on the link below. We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exercises. Muscle Medicine Body Work, live your best life.